friends in this video we are going to discuss about another beta lactam antibiotics known as cephalosporins okay firstly coming to classification so it's usually very difficult to study the classification of cephalosporins because all begins with cef 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 spellings will be s c e f sometimes sometimes it will be c e p h like that so it's usually about a medico it's something difficult to catch so we have one story like mnemonic which can remember the easily the story of cephalos cephalosporins or classification of cephalosporins it's a diary of a chef she is firstly joined to a new college diary of a girl who got admission in a new college so her four days are four days of memories are explained in her, her diary so each day belongs each generation of drug that means first day of her college memories implicates it's a first generation cephalosporin okay the condition to remember this classification is add cef term to all drug before writing okay what is it all drugs we have to add cef or ceph okay before about writing the drug okay so then another heat in a story there is sometimes the term heating comes which means either oxime oxime oxygen is needed for heating so oxime or means pyro pyro means heating pyro cryo means cooling pyro means heating so these two conditions if you study we can easily go through the cephalosporins so the drugs are usually boxed examples names have boxed so there are mainly cephalosporins belonging to fourth generation first generation second generation third generation and fourth generation fourth generation all except fourth generation have two forms either oral or parenteral but fourth generation contains only parenteral forms this also we will get from mnemonic so it follows as diary of a chef she went to her college for got new admission her first four days memories are explained in in this diary each day belongs to each generation of drug first day memories implies its first generation drug so she noticed on the first day of admission first day events were she saw fazolin fazolin was one of her classmate fazolin paired with felix they together joined together and made oral drops the sentence for first day means first generation is she saw fazolin paired with felix and made oral drops the key part is fazolin paired with felix and made oral drops fazolin paired with felix and made oral drops so let's explain it fazolin means first condition we have to add cef to it okay fazolin cefazolin it termed as cefazolin then paired means it belongs to parenteral groups okay on first day fazolin paired means cefazolin first generation which is a parenteral drug then another two examples are belonging to oral so fazolin paired with felix which means cefalexin cef we have to add spelling is c e p h cefalexin fazolin paired with felix and made oral drops oral drops means it is administered orally cefalexin and cefadroxil drop means droxil d r o x i l it is the two oral first generation cephalosporins so in conclusion first generation cephalosporins fazolin paired with felix and made oral drops cefadroxil it's about the first generation okay easy to remember i think then on second of her college day two incidents were occurred on first day he found two friends fazolin and felix okay what were the names fazolin and felix on second day two incidents occurred one classmate was named as ozil ozil okay his initial was tr okay on first day no, sorry on second day one incident occurred chef named pr ozil she decided to become a chef and came to a college so the name was pr ozil p 
Erosyl 8. 8 means eaten. So it's orally administered chlorine. Chef, chef, rosyl, er, rosyl. 8 means orally administered. Chlor means chef, chlor. Okay. Chlorine spelling you have to care. C L O R. So second generation oral examples are chef, rosyl and chef, chlor. 8 chlorine means orally administered chlorine. Then who 8? P R ozil one among her classmates. P R ozil chef, rosyl. Okay. Then coming to parental. Okay. Chef named another classmate was named Fox. What was the classmate's name? Fox. Fox. Chef named Fox. Done nothing. The thing was a tin of fur. Fur means hair. hair. A tin of fur was heated. Okay. Chef named Fox. What was earlier names? P. R. Ozil. In this, Chef named Fox. Then I think the thing was a tin of fur heated. A tin of fur or hair was heated. Chef, Chef Fox is named and added with the tin. Chef Foxy tin. Okay. Chef Foxy tin. Okay. Oral we have already discussed. Then parental examples are Chef Foxy tin. Fox added heated a tin of fur. Okay. According to our term, heat means either oxygen or pyro. Okay. Fur heated. Chef. Chef. First term. We have to add chef with everyone. Then what was he done? He heated the fur. Heated means oxen. What was heated? Fur. Chef or oxen. Spelling is F-U-R-O-X-I-M-E. Okay. That is the up to second generation cephalosporin. Okay. So first generation includes oral and parental. Examples are cephalexin, cephadroxyl. Parental includes cephazolin. Fazolin paired with felix and made oral drops. Okay. Then second generation. Chef named pyrosylate chlorine. Chef prosyl oral cephachlor. Then chef named fox a tin of fur heated. Hmm? Cephoxetin parentally administered examples are cephoxetin and cephoroxam. Fur oxam. Fur heated. Oxam means heated. Heated means either oxam or pyro. In this case we are using the term oxam. Okay. That's about second generation cephalosporin. So we discussed about second generation cephalosporin. Oral and parenteral. Okay, the examples were this one. So, let's move into third generation. The climax of the story is on third day. A boy chef who was one of his classmates fixed, according to her, it's her diary. So, she wrote as, a, chef, a boy chef fixed me. We are going to discuss about third generation cephalosporins. Okay, which was incidence was on third day. Okay, a boy chef fixed me. Okay, the mnemonic is Chef fixed me, which means chef fixed me, chef fixed me, and invited for dinner. Dinner means chef denier. Our condition was add chef, then temperature or heat, heat two different was there. So chef fixed me and chef denier. Boy chef fixed me and invited for dinner. He wore two dress. One was a tie and another was a boot. Okay. So, the name is Seftibutan or Seftibutan, easy to remember. Okay, Seftibutan. Examples for third generation oral include Seftibutan, Seftibutan, Seftibutan. How to remember? Chef fixed me and invited for dinner. Chef fixed me and invited for dinner and he was wearing tie and boot. Tie and boot. Okay, that means Seftibutan. Okay, that's about third generation oral. Then coming to parental group that means third generation parental okay third generation parental the mnemonic is i sat with his parents on dinner she sat with his parents which means parental where they sat they sat on opera zone okay there was a zone known as opera zone so according to our criteria self opera zone which belongs parental third generation okay while sitting the boyfriend gifted three axe spray. Do you remember axe spray? Axe spray. How many? Three axe sprays in one gift box. Okay. So, how many axe? Try axe spray in one box. That is written as Chef 
trioxone okay self trioxone three acts in one box okay after dinner returned me in a o shaped taxi what shape taxi o shaped taxi so our drug is third generation panadol self o taxi self o taxi me okay returned me in o shaped taxi once again third generation they are oral either oral or panadol the oral includes cefixime in dinner by wearing tie and boot cefixide me in dinner by wearing tie and boot okay cefixime cef dinner cef tie boot and coming to third generation panadol cef opera zone because i sat with his parents in opera zone where we were seated parents means panadol in opera zone and gifted three acts in one box that is triaxone and returned me in o shaped taxi okay o shaped taxi that is cefo taxi me that's about third, gen third generation oral and panadol then coming to fourth generation that's fourth day incidents according to her diary the boyfriend thought about pi pi means 22 by 7 mathematically means 3.14 value about mathematic pi to me okay on fourth day what was the incidents the friend he thought about pi to me self sefo pi me what means sefo pi me fourth generation is only parentally given okay now examples in oral forms okay and also about heating heating means according to the term either oxime or pyro here we are used to the term pyro abo then on fourth day he explained about pi to me that means sefo pi me and heating about heating two topics were discussed one was pi sefo pi me and second topic was heating that means sefo pi ro me okay they are administered only panadol now oral forms in fourth generation so it's about third generation and fourth generation third generation chef fixed me on inviting dinner with wearing tie and boot okay chef fixed me oral chef denied chef tie boot and then third day panadol third generation it means chef operazon chef taxi me chef triaxon and fourth day chef pi me and chef pyro me two things were explained about pi and temperature heating means pyro that's the end of the classification now you can easily remember the names of fourth generation cephalosporins now let's move on to other part of beta lactam antibiotic cephalosporins now classification is over mm -hmm.